Hello everyone and welcome to this another session of Success Stories with Hack Slash. This is Sejal Sina and I'm feeling really great to have this opportunity to conduct this session with Garima ma'am. Uh, first of all, thanks for joining us ma'am. Thank you Sejal. Yeah, so Garima ma'am is currently in her fourth year and she has already grabbed many placements of her uh, from companies like Nasdaq and uh, Fanatics. So congratulations for that as well. Thank you, Sejan. Okay, now to get started with the video, I would like to ask uh, all about your internships. Like what internships have you got? What was your journey? Uh, like how did you prepare for those internships? And what were basically the downs involved for the selection? Okay, so I'm Garima Singh and I'm a final year undergrad at NITP. So in my third year, I had the opportunity to interview with MNCs like Google and Twitter, but unfortunately I wasn't selected. I also interviewed NASDAQ, the second largest stock exchange firm. So that, uh, there were four rounds, four technical interview rounds. And after uh, that I was selected and I moved on to the web properties team. And for my experience, it was really great. I got to learn uh, new technologies like Golang and Apache Kafka. And all, uh, apart from that, I also developed a lot of my leadership skills and a sense of responsibility as well. So um, before that, I also did an internship at Datali. It is a Chennai-based AI startup. So I was a React developer there. I did it for, I think, more than six months. So that was also like a good starter to moving on to big companies. So yeah, obviously you can start with like really small companies or startups and then you can move on to like all these tech giants. Yeah, actually that's a nice roadmap for us also. We can use that to just, you know, move on the right direction ahead. And uh, this reminds me of a very important question. Uh, what, uh, like you have also grabbed many scholarships as well. So let me tell everyone, uh, ma'am has uh, got, ma'am has uh, received many scholarships like from Nutanix Women in Tech and uh, she has also got Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Scholarship. Also she has got Twitter Developer Scholarship and many more. So one important thing is how do, how do you keep track of these opportunities? Like there are many of my peers also who keep asking, uh, like they do not know when the applications actually open. So how do you keep a track of all these opportunities? So uh, the first advice is you have to maintain a constant contact with your seniors and seniors who have actually gotten those opportunities or applied to them. Or the second advice is you can make a group of uh, two or three friends where everyone studies together and they share all the opportunities they get. And if you're someone who don't have many friends like me, so you can be active on Twitter or LinkedIn. So that's a, a really great platforms through which, you know, like these YouTube channels and these LinkedIn influencers keep on posting like a list of opportunities. So keep on applying to everything you are eligible in. And I think if you apply to one or two, there's a very less chance that you will get selected. But if you apply to uh, like 40, 50, everything that were eligible, so there's a great chance that at least one or two you will get. So devote uh, some time to that also. Uh, I mean, that's quite important. All right. Uh, one more thing. Now, since you were the PR lead and the project head at Hackslash, so I want to know uh, how did these roles help you in terms of placement, in terms of skills? and um, everything like, what was your overall experience with Hackslash? So Hackslash experience really helped me a lot. So as a PR lead in my second year, I developed all my soft skills as I had to manage all the promotions and the event organization that we had. So obviously a sense of responsibility and how we speak in public, so that I uh, developed a lot. Um, in my third year as a project head, I got to know uh, the technical side of the club. 
so we used to have weekly meetings with all the leads and i used to enjoy that a lot uh, like all these weekly meetings and uh, during my internship at nasda so we used to have daily stand ups so in that you have to explain things to the manager and convince uh, them that your approach is right so like convincing and explaining in a better way that are the two things that hackslash experience taught me um and uh, i think in on campus placements uh, these soft skills matter a lot because they see like one separating factor that uh, separates you from everyone who is interviewing so in my case my volunteering work and this hackslash experience i would say was one of the like standing feature of my resume so they asked me about my experience what difference i made in the club so yeah it's not like you wouldn't get placed if you are not into clubs but surely that experience helps you a lot during the interviews and professionally as well yeah the last uh, plus point basically your resume right uh, and um, there's one more question like um, since you've talked about your managerial skills and all that so uh, one more thing is uh, how do you manage academics along with everything else like along with your clubs internships open source hackathons and you know there's a lot in the queue so how do you manage all these things together i think that uh, you will always find time for something that you actually enjoy doing so for me personally i am a very methodical person i maintain a lot of to do list and time tables i have so that is very tiring but i have a peace of mind at the end of the day due to those so most of the things that i'm proud of doing were done by me when the lockdown started that is because the academic burden got really less so i could focus on things i really enjoy doing so maintain a good cg i would say 8.5 plus would be the best so that 100% companies allow you but along with that uh, focus on things and skills that will actually uh, make you money and you really enjoy doing so yeah and uh, now since i mentioned things like open source and hackathons in the last question i would like to tell my audience that uh, garima ma'am has already mentored 500 plus participants in many open source programs across india and also she has won um, many, uh, many prizes in some national level hackathons so ma'am i would like to ask you uh, if you could like uh, tell something uh, something about open source and also uh, some factors or some tips that we can use in hackathons that could actually help us in uh, you know winning or gaining a nice position there so um, for hackathons i participated them from the first year itself so we used to learn new technologies on the way in a limited amount of time so we had like a week or two to learn a completely different language so what's important in a hackathon is your team should be responsible and everyone should be enthusiastic about the project idea so get a good team and work towards the idea and i got a lot of time during the lockdown so i could put my ideas and frame project submissions for these hackathons and due to this i won a lot of hackathons at national level hackathons that and many of them led me to interview at various companies sponsoring those hackathons as well so that is also like a plus factor of participating in hackathons that you get to interview uh, for a lot of companies for open source um i was introduced to it by my seniors so i was very overwhelmed at first like what is this git pull and merge request what are what are they talking about so i would go at evening and learn about it because i have found it very intriguing intriguing so in my first and second year i participated in a lot of os contests like girl script and all these winter and summer of course that we have and in my third and fourth year i mentored a lot of them so i also mentored two gsoc organization one of them was open mind and the second one was anita b so for open source i think uh, 
it, it is a separating factor factor of my resume as well and uh, it is different because not everyone does it and even if someone does it they don't continue it for a long time but uh, i would say there is something for everyone in open source so even if you don't code you can go into ui ux designing or technical content writing so keep a track of all these opportunities through linkedin and twitter so yeah so actually one thing to be noted here that even though lockdown is frustrating for some people but it can also be used uh, very effectively like you did it right yeah uh -huh. so one last thing that i would like to know is uh, since you were a senior member of hackslash for two long years so is there any moment that you are really proud of or something that you will cherish uh, for the rest of your life um i'm actually proud of starting a club from scratch when no seniors had like used to guide us and all regarding this development field so we six or seven students actually started it from scratch like getting all the permissions and all so the initial process was really tough and when the club was in full fledged so my daily routine used to be i was a pr lead so in the morning we used to go to the classes and we used to shout about all the promotion of the events and in the afternoon i used to come and take classes of web development for the first days so that was my routine for a few days so it was all offline so i really miss it and uh, yeah along with it the parties and the fun we had of course in the first two years so yeah. wow, that nothing sounds great <laughs> so with this i would like to end this uh, session so garima ma'am thanks a lot for joining us and i'm very certain that you will achieve everything that you work for and a new job means a lot more uh, responsibilities and a lot more opportunities so i on the behalf of whole hackslash team wish you all the best for your future and for all the students watching out there uh, you do not need to go anywhere <laughs> we'll be posting many more success stories very very soon so till then keep learning and stay focused thank you A very good evening to one and all watching this video of our success story series. We have with us today Rakshita Jain from NIT Patna. In my first year, I explored various domains like Android, web, and machine learning, and made various projects in them, which certainly helped me make a good resume too. Uh, is there any like ideal roadmap that you followed, or would you like to suggest anything to grab internships or placements? I feel that there is uh, nothing like an ideal roadmap to follow. The journey will be different for every individual. What matters is being focused on the journey.